have our bail from referee Charles Richardson for singles action. Michael McAllister is trying to get a jump at the bell against Southpaw Eric Andrews. This is, of course, Cecil Scott, and I'm joined today for the first time ever, the first time, and it feels like the first time, with CL Party. That's right. And it's a pleasure to have you here, and I'm looking forward to calling the next few matches with you here tonight. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm very excited. And you, we have someone you're very familiar with, one of the backwoods bullies, so to speak. Yes. Eric Andrews with In another word. this beautiful backbreaker. We got a near fall. And it looked like Andrews was possibly going for a sharpshooter there, but McAllister with a nice leverage move. Oh. It, how are you going to pick a fight with the whole Dangerous Alliance? Eric Andrews showing how tough he is. Tough and maybe a little stupid here, but we'll see. No, he's going to hear this tape. Oh, he knows. Just, I, I tell him every day. You tell him every day he's stupid just yeah. because? I mean, you know. I don't know what you're talking about. Me neither. But right now, he is in a horrible part of town. And Richardson, you know, if they're not careful, they will get disqualified. Honestly, I don't even think they care. They're just out here to destroy and cause chaos. And especially destroy Eric Andrews, and they would love it if they could destroy Evan Banks along with him. Now, now that tag team title match is looming between these two teams. Yeah, go for it. We got that fisherman suplex from McAllister. Another near fall. He's kicking out, though. He's still in, so he's obviously doing something right. Well, we know he's not going to quit. We've seen him just take abuse in so many matches. Yeah, earlier in this year, when they just messed up his ankle, and he had that brace on. And that was just a rough couple months for the Killbillies, but of course, you know, they ended up becoming the tag team champions. So. Yeah, I would say they bounced back pretty well. They really did. And Eric Andrews, speaking of bouncing back, is starting to get a little momentum here with just under five minutes left in his time limit. Nice power slam. And I always, I always have to watch out for the two men on the outside. You know, are they going to jump in if it really looks like Andrews is about to win? I don't know. I don't know if the referee will go for that, but we'll see. Like I said, I don't think they uh, care too much for the rules in the first place. They just want to do as much damage as possible, um, especially because Eric Andrews is out there on his own. They can just wear him down, and then he maybe won't be 100% when Evan Bates does come back, and they do get that title shot. Right, so what, you, what you're kind of saying, I, th I think the win is just kind of secondary Definitely. in this case. Well, like I said, who can get into these men's minds? They are, I'm, I mean, I'll say it, they're insane. And who knows what they're thinking? We can only guess out here. And McAllister, and Mecca holding the foot of Andrews. Andrews with the shoulder block. Could that be it? Man, McAllister showing some toughness himself. And I'll tell you right now, I teamed with Mecca Mercenary for many years. Even I could never figure the guy out. Really? I mean, he really is a monster and a machine out there. And part of that, you know, he wears that mask. You can't read his face. That's even less you can know about what he's thinking. And Corey Edsel pulling the rope down with the low bridge. And what is he doing in the ring? Oh, what is going on over there? Some kind of distraction oh. tactic, just like I was talking about. You're absolutely right. Mecca just squashed Andrews on the post. Corey Edsel in the ring acting a fool right now. But he got the job done. He got what he wanted. And that might be a count out. We saw one count out earlier in the TV title match. Well, Eric like Andrews, like you said, he's tough. He's going to do everything he can to try and get back in that ring. You see him kind of stirring a little bit. He's stirring, but he just took a 400 pound man in the post. They're up to eight, nine. Mecca, Mecca, he made it in. Mecca should probably focus on the match instead of on us over here. Sliding D. And you're right, he should have been focused on the ring, but we got to cover. And that's it. The crowd does not like that. And uh, the interference from Mecca Mercenary really made the difference there. He got back in the ring, but the sliding D from, Mecca, from Michael McAllister did the trick.